CC vignette is found under the stylized category. So if I go there and find the effect, I'm gonna apply it to an adjustment layer here, and it's going to instantly give me this vignette, which is simulating what happens with a camera lens, basically darkening the outside edges of the image. We can make it darker by turning the amount up or not so dark by turning that amount down. We can change the angle of view, which is basically how close to the center of the frame the vignette starts. And we can even change the center point, so we don't have to keep this in the center of the frame. It can almost work like a spotlight. And then finally, we have a value called pin highlights, which isn't too effective in this comp. So here I have one with a photograph, and I'm gonna apply it to that adjustment layer as well. And let's just make this nice and noticeable so we can really see what's going on here. We're darkening those outside corners. Now, if I increase this pin highlights value, you can see that in the sky where it's all blown out, the vignette is not going to affect those areas as much. If I turn it all the way up to 100, it won't affect those highlights at all. So it's only darkening the darker portions of the image, which can be a nice little control. But that's all there is to know about CC Vignette. It's a very handy way of making a very quick vignette that renders quickly. And while I know that many motion designers choose to make vignettes by hand with more organic shapes, sometimes a quick symmetrical vignette gets the job done. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.